Hello friends and welcome to lesson 15 and in this lesson we will set up our entity and DTO classes and we will create configuration for this application. So first let's let's create configuration. Right click on the source new then other then hibernate configuration file next the name should be hibernate.cfg.xml click on next now get your values from connection which we had set up already drag down here select the connection profile and click ok set the data pitch dialect because we are using oracle so we'll choose oracle Genji. type your password here which is which is fusion click on create console configuration next and finish now your configuration file is ready now hibernate is has a very nice feature and the feature is you don't need to create tables every time the hibernate will create its own table automatically according to the application so as in our last application we had created a table employee i want you to delete this employee because in this application we want the application to create its own table so right query drop table table name which is employee semicolon and enter so your table is removed from the fusion schema now now let's create entity classes first right click here then new then class and name the class employee this is our entity class finish now the variables will be private int eid which means employee id then private spring ename which is employee name the third one will be the private spring let's say employee gender and private let's say salary float employee salary and now create the getter settings as we did in our last application right click here then generate getter settings select all and ok so our getter set functions are ready now now i want you to copy the three variables e name e gender and e salary and create a new DTO class name this class employee DTO this DTO class we use to transfer objects see in our enterprise level applications we don't directly access to the entity classes instead we use dto classes to put the data and then the, we convert our dto to the entity and vice versa in our assembler we'll create assembler later let's first create the dto the dto is same as entity we are not taking employee id because we want the application to generate by its own now generate the getter setters of this dto Now, back to your configuration.xml. As I told you earlier, that we want the application to create its own table into the schema. So currently, in our employee, uh, sorry, Fusion schema, we don't have any table here. We had one table, but we had already deleted this. We want the application to create its own. So for that, go to source, then write a property here property the name of the property is hibernate dot hbm2 ddl dot auto and the value will be 
create or update if you use create every time when the application executes it will drop the last table and create a new one if you use the update it will create a new table into the database and it will update the values of that table according to the application we'll see this while execution execution so save this configuration file now your entity and DTO is ready in the next we will set up our assembler and uh, DAO class see you next